I owned a couple of dairy shops entitled Joe's Dairy, the name was Joe's Dairy Shop with two P's and an A. And I had two incidences. One, a water main broke out in front of my business, closed the business down. What did I have? Business interruption insurance. I applied for relief, denied. The second incident was the worst, Hurricane Gloria. I had the equivalent of $5,000 worth of product. Hurricane comes, I'm without power for a week. I lose the product and also I'm closed for a week. So I figured this is gotta be, gotta be some reimbursement. Applied for it, denied. So in my eyes, these insurance companies have been selling these products and they've got to come up to the plate and uh, when you have a meeting of the minds, this should be enacted and they should pay the claims or stop selling the products. O'Rourke's Pub, their biggest five days of the year are St. Patrick's Day, St. Joseph's Day that week in March, 24 hours before St. Patrick's Day, they were told you've got to close. You know, they had all the corned beef and cabbage, the kegs of Guinness, which luckily won't go bad. <laughs> but the tent set up, but it's the lost income. Yep. And they're a classic example. I spoke with the owner. She told me she f has business interruption insurance. And uh, these, c these restaurants are all being denied. And I've been contacted by many of my colleagues that are from all over the state. They said, our businesses need our help now. I mean, this isn't just happening in Patuxent Village or on Warwick Avenue to small business as it's happening on Federal Hill to our Providence businesses. And these businesses are the backbone of our economy. They're small businesses, and uh, this is the time when they need our help. We have businesses, uh, Steve Capuccio from uh, New York says 70% of all uh, privately owned restaurants may be under after this. That's a scary thought. Even if you get 20 or 25, uh, there's you know, several places in this neighborhood that certainly what really prompted this through the Federal Hill Commerce Association uh, that I'm concerned, you know, once they el eliminate this, uh, you know, these closures and this safe distancing, that uh, they're not going to reopen. And some of them, they've been here 60, 70, 80 years. So it's very disconcerting and uh, uh, we need to address this now rather than later.